If knowledge is power, the leadership of U.S. Southern Command is ensuring their organization remains strong. Southcom Military Deputy Commander Lieutenant General Joseph DeSalvo visited Sierra Army Depot in California recently to gain a better understanding of the divesture of the military's equipment through the Excess Defense Articles Program. Excess Defense Articles, or EDA, can be obtained by U.S. military partners through the U.S. Army Security Assistance Command, or USASAC's Foreign Military Sales Program. Southcom's deputy commander was joined at Sierra Army Depot by USASAC and TACOM representatives who comprise some of the expertise of the Army Material Command's security assistance enterprise. We are the uh, directorate within the command that processes all those requests. We write the cases and submit them up to USASAC and DSCA for approval. It's our responsibility to execute those cases and deliver the capability and equipment and training and whatever's on the case to our foreign partners. Getting a first-hand look at the condition and availability of EDA and learning about foreign military sales gives Southcom a distinct advantage in building partner capacity in their area of operation. The reason this is important to Southcom is because EDA provides a low-cost or more cost-effective means to our ally nations to procure a weapon system or obtain a capability. This is critical in our strategic relationships because it allows them to execute their own coalition operations and require less support by the U.S. Sierra Army Depot is the Army Material Command's westernmost depot and its largest facility dedicated to equipment asset retrograde, reutilization, and redistribution. In back of me you can see an Abrams tank that we've delivered to a lot of partners throughout the regions in the world. And a lot of that equipment is stored here as excess defense equipment. Not everything here is excess material, but a lot of the equipment we provide to our customers, uh, the first stop here is to come here with our partners, do joint vehicle inspections, and select the equipment to help them build their capability. Southcom has recently had more of its partners showing interest in excess defense articles. Specifically here on Sierra Army Depot, We've delivered uh, M113 family of vehicles to Brazil. We've selected some tactical trucks for El Salvador. At some of the other locations where we store equipment, we've uh, selected M109A5 self-propelled howitzers that have gone to Chile and Brazil for their militaries, and that was all done through the Excess Defense Articles program with those countries. The ability to meet combatant command needs through foreign military sales provides another tool to increase readiness. EDA is important to Southcom because it builds partner capacity by providing our international partners a low-cost or more cost-effective means of purchasing necessary equipment. Not only is the U.S. enhancing critical strategic relationships, but we are also reducing the necessity for a U.S. footprint and reducing expenses to the Army by eliminating storage, transportation, and demilitarization costs. Many of these EDA assets have the option of being refurbished or upgraded at U.S. depots, which bolsters the organic industry base, and they can also utilize private industry. Both of these options support the U.S. economy. Southcom's interest in excess defense articles as a way to build partner capacity demonstrates USASAC's motto, trust plus teamwork equals strength and cooperation.